What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Gemini Jets March 2021 releases. It's been a slow year so far for me, at least in terms of new Gemini Jets releases. I have not bought anything as of late as the releases haven't really of my interest. Um, but as we head into this new month, hopefully we do get some good releases. We are long overdue for some, some sort of decency, at least for me. Um, specifically like a Southwest Special Livery or um, some other North American domestic aircraft. Um, December was really the last good release for me as of late. So um, what what can we expect? Nothing. Um, I don't really care if they don't do a CRJ900 of American Eagle or Delta Connection anymore because I have customs. I'm going to be making customs myself. So hopefully... Um, there'll be one less person requesting for those models, but I'm sure there'll be tons of others because they probably can't really do customs, and I can understand that. Please excuse that. That was my computer. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say regarding the upcoming releases. Uh, we did have the model pictures uh, wrap up today. Uh, it is Sunday, March the 7th. And we should be expecting the releases either on Tuesday or Thursday because for the past year or so they've been releasing or they've been announcing the new releases usually on Tuesdays or Thursdays. Um, typically it's been Tuesdays, but we had a couple of Thursdays thrown in there as well. And then they're always announced at noon Pacific or 3 p.m. Eastern, at least for those in the U.S. So we'll cut over to the releases and we'll see if they're good or not. All right. Here we go, guys. We got the March 2021 releases. They're out quite late this time. It is currently the 16th of March. It is a Tuesday. So we did get the releases on a Tuesday this time around, but I got like 87 Discord pings to work with, so that obviously meant that there was some type of releases that got announced. So we're going to go ahead and check out the March releases, and let's see what we got in the 1200 section. Our first release, we have a Boeing KC-46 Pegasus of the U.S. Air Force. Now, I have no idea where it's from, so obviously you'll have the aircraft info pop up and everything. Um, so there's that one. Um, next one we have is a... Yeah, I like that. United CRJ200 in the new colors in 1200 scale. Registration is November 246, Papa Sierra. So... Pretty interesting release. I hope that this will be in 1-400 because I would love to have this in 1-400. Holy cow, that's pretty good. Next up, we have a Qantas Link Dash 8 200. Now, they did this a few months ago in 1-400, so it is nice to see this in 1-200 as well for those that maybe wanted it in that scale. Uh, move up the list. We have a Eastern 727-100. I always have a soft spot for retro aircraft. I don't usually like to collect them because I'm afraid I'm going to get addicted to them and I'm going to want them so much. Um, I don't think my budget would be able to support that. So every now and then I like seeing these and also because it makes those other collectors happy. So um, pretty nice to see this. Hopefully this will be a pretty popular release with some. Let's move on to the next one. We have a Delta 737-900ER. Our registration is November 891 Delta November. Now, they did uh, 899, I think, as the last Delta 737 release in sometime around 2019. I have that release. It's a really good model, despite the over-elevated wings. Um, so this will be nice to see for those that maybe wanted one of those and one 200. Hopefully that does satisfy those collectors. Next up, Airbus Beluga XL. Holy cow. Um... I think, um, I think I saw something about JC Wings doing this. So apparently, because I know Gemini Jets and JC Wings, they share molds every now and then. So I wonder if uh, Gemini got permission to use this or the other way around. I don't know. Um, but pretty cool to see that. Nice to see a little bit of variety in the releases. Move up a bit. We have an Air Transat Airbus A321neo. Uh, the registration on this one is Charlie-Golf Oscar India Hotel. So, um, let's go and take a look at what we got for the next one. We have an Airbridge Cargo 747-400, and it is an interactive series. Now, last month they did the Kalita Air interactive series, so now this is an Airbridge Cargo 400. Hopefully they do a 747-400 interactive series mold in one 400, because that'd be nice to see. Um, I've been wanting to try out that, that um, type of aircraft lineup, that type of model lineup, but I just don't really have the money to do so, because they're a little more expensive than what I'm used to. So that's all the 1-200 releases. Pretty good. I'd say there's some decent variety in that one, so hopefully that does satisfy those collectors. 
We got one military release to take a look at, and I know I'm going a little fast, but again, as I said at the beginning of the video, I got so many Discord pings, so I had no idea what the heck they released, um, if they've released anything good. So the next release we have... Okay, I have no idea what this is. I know this is an A330 MRTT, but who operates it, I have no clue, just by looking off of the um, image. It is the NATO. Okay, so pretty nice to see that. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. All right, now we have the 1-400 releases. Now, this is where I got so many pings. Now, I don't know if this is because the 1-400 releases are going to be that good. So let's go ahead and check out the first one. Yes! <laughs> yes! United CRJ 200, 1 400 scale, new colors. That I'm going to be getting, no question. Perfect. So, Gemini is listening this time. Yes. Next. Oh, wow! You are kidding me! Southwest Desert Gold Retro, or Southwest Classic as it says on the tail, but wow! You are kidding. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be getting that one, but that is so dang cool. That is incredible. That is absolutely amazing that they decided to make it. Uh, next up, we have a Scandinavian A321neo. So kind of going back to what Gemini traditionally does, just like a bunch of random airlines. Um, but that, but that, but this right here is actually pretty cool. Um, I think Scandinavian, I don't know if they operate these to North America yet. And if they were, they would probably go to like New York or something. Um, but I, I have no idea. Um, I think they mostly operate within Europe. Okay, next up we have Kalita Charters 727-200. Now, this is a really nice release, too. I actually kind of want this, um, but I think with considering the United CRJ 200 and now the Southwest Gold Retro, which I think I'm going to pass up on that because I would prefer a state livery instead of, like, one of the other special liveries that Southwest has, but... Um, either way, this is a nice release as well, so hopefully for those that like 727s, that release will satisfy you guys. Next up, we have Jet 2 Holidays, a 757-200 uh, with winglets. So, package holidays you can trust. Kind of looks like an Allegiant ripoff, I know. I'm, I think I've made a comment about that in the past. Uh, let's see, next up, a Frontier A321. Okay. Um, so for those of you that may know, I think most don't, but I did make a request to NG for a Frontier E321, but it is interesting to see that Gemini has decided to do one before NG, so that's a little interesting. I think NG is on, kind of on a slowdown right now because of Chinese New Year. I don't know if their factory is reopened yet, but, um, either way, this is a nice release. I will consider this one as well, but my god, these releases are incredible. Uh, oh my god! Ah! My my prayers have been answered. It's a Delta CRJ 900 at 1 400 scale. Oh my god, that is so going into the video. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I just made a Delta CRJ 900 custom. Oh my god, that is that is this is so going into the video. I don't care what people say, but this is amazing. Delta CRJ 900 and 1400. Please tell me that I am not dreaming right now. <laughs> I don't think I am. I feel awake. I've experienced all the events today like normal. But holy crap, Gemini has listened. Big time. All right. So I'm going to take a moment here to take a breather because this is incredible. Absolutely amazing. All right, last one. We have an Amerijet 767-300. This is one of their future releases. All right, what, where do I begin? Where in the world do I begin? Let's start off with a 1200. Let's just start off there because it's pretty much the easiest thing um, as I don't really collect 1200. Um, so again, pretty good releases for 1200. The United CRJ 200, obviously a nice addition because we always love the regional jets. Uh, Delta 737 900, um, also a nice release. The Eastern 727 is a pretty good release as well. Uh, the Airbridge Cargo Interactive, that's also a nice 
um, release as Gemini is liking to expand on what they're doing. So the interactive series is actually a nice idea now that I think about it. But I mean, the only issue I would have with it is just that it could break easily. Um, I've seen that the parts can be pretty fragile, but I guess if you don't play with it too much, like some younger kids would. Not saying that they would, but um, but just, you know, these parts can be so fragile. They're so tiny that, you know, it could easily break. Uh, the Gemini Max, um, NATO A330. I don't think we, we haven't seen a NATO release in a while, but let's start off with the 1400s. Wow. Incredible releases. Absolutely incredible releases. Um, I believe Gemini has finally heard us collectors for months on end. And now at this point, we can finally shut up about a Delta CRJ 900 because they actually have done one. Finally. I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been like 10, 11 years since they last did one. The Southwest Classic Retro. Uh, I may consider that, but I think that one, that one's going to sell out pretty fast. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get my hands on it. But I think, I think I'm going to pass on this one. Um, the Frontier E321, I may consider that as well, if that sticks around long enough, but again, I think I only have so much money, I can probably get, like, maybe two models-ish, maybe three, um, but the Delta CRJ900, definitely on my list, United CRJ200, definitely on my list as well, um, the Southwest Classic Retro, I'll put that into consideration, and the Kaleida Charters, I will also put that into consideration. Holy crap. This is incredible for me. Um, I know this may irritate some other collectors, but at this point, yes, we will finally shut up about regional jet releases. I promise you. I know we're still missing an American Eagle CRG 900, but at this point, what can you do? I can't complain. These releases are incredible. So that being said, that is the end of a very spectacular release video. I hope you enjoyed some of these re reactions because I know they will probably surprise a lot of people. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.